Hi guys, welcome oh. back to some more. Murder Soul Suspect. Shut your face. Is there anything here? Aha. Uh to be held in the harsh light is to be held to account. So I've missed so many of these things. Like, I'll, when I have a chance, I'll go back. Do I have to talk to her? No? Okay. Nothing here. Nothing here. I wish, though, that there would be, like, a... Like, a sign or something. Hold on. What's going on over here now? Oh, we're already there, damn it. You're gonna be so safe. Everything is gonna be fine. Don't you worry. Everything will be okay. I'm not gonna let anyone damn it. touch you. I won't be over worried about shock treatment, but she's already a lost cause. Don't call for that to touch you. Alright, fine. You go see what our comatose witness has to offer. Oh yeah, just point the light in her face. Iris, everything we found. Don't worry, I, I, I'm here to help you. I, don't kill my sister. I'm, I'm not gonna hurt. Her. Stay back! Oh, holy shit! I can see. What the? I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm gonna keep you safe. You're gonna be so safe. Everything is gonna I, be fine. I think I know that symbol. I, I've seen it before. Where? After all. Okay. You can't get out until I let you out, girl. Alright. What the hell? She booted me out somehow. Alright. Let's see if anything here can tell me what the hell is going on with this girl. Alright, let's see. Troubled. Iris must express her inner demons with these drawings. Uh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is Iris trying to communicate with this drawing? Burn at the stake? I guess I see fire there. Uh. Oh, bell. Right. Flipped. Our seems to be very agitated right now. Yeah, no shit. Oops. Chased. Tormented. Ours is captured by her assailant. Okay. Um. Oh, what's this? Crayons. Art therapy. Why would the assigned letter have crayons? Is this part of her therapy, so therapy somehow? I think that's it. Right? Can I talk what to these her? For? Like art therapy or something? Do no. Blue. Blue eyes. Cold as death. Mm. Who had blue eyes? And, and death? What does that mean? Blue eyes. Wolf eyes. Blue stare. Well, didn't they say that's what the guy had? The, uh, bell killer? Oh, there we go. Uh, okay. Two girls. Um. Linked. Her sister. 
Didn't we read that her sister got captured? Or no, she just said, like, leave her sister alone. Bound twins. Iris is a twin sister. Hmm, that's not his usual method, is it? Iris's life, but paid with her own. The bell killer's going after young girls. Well, what was it? What, what'd you see? That poor kid. Her sister freed her when they were about to be scorched, but she couldn't return the favor. Leave us alone! could be the answer to everything. Help her, help her. Come on, she's coming with us. No, you're not taking her. Look, you want the orderlies to shock her? She stays here. You want her to be safe outside? She comes with us. It's up to you. All right. Hold on a minute. Uh, Paris Hogan and Reed Larson. Who is it? Where is this person? Scarpernas was suspect arrested and there was only the case while we. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, hold on. I think we're kind of obvious. I wish you weren't so clueless at work. You know, this is starting to get unattractive. I don't think I can wait till we get off work. Oof, she looks even hotter in scrubs. She's like an old granny. You're gonna make me blush. Hold on, I wanna. I need to look around first. I don't know if I'll get used to the staring eyes. This place is a nightmare. I'll say. All right, let's, uh, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. that are like making me uh oh okay we got it okay i get it over here in those shadows there coast is clear 
<sighs> Why do my worst nightmares keep getting way worse? Okay, let's figure this out. I thought I would never see this again. All right. So what do you know about this contract? Nothing. I... Oh, come on. It doesn't make sense. So he just asked you if you knew about a contract? He didn't ask. He wanted us to admit to it. Admit to having a contract with... Demons. Demon? We did nothing to him. He had no reason to go after us the way he did. That's not what she was wearing when she was... Was she? He drowns one girl and burns another. And where have I seen that steak before? Whoa, okay. Uh, that is an excellent question because I don't remember at all. Uh, I think it was that one, right? Yeah. That's it. All right, look, look. Get Iris to the church. Make sure that she's safe. I'll catch up with you later. Go. Okay. Come on, Iris. All right. Now, what the hell does a museum gala have to do with Rose's murder? I don't know. Let's find out. I didn't find all the, uh, the thingies. Rose's murder may be related to the exhibition exhibit at the museum. Okay, wait, wait! Let me go back to the asylum. I didn't find all the things. Can I go back? Yes. Okay, come on. Okay, is it like loading or something? Okay. I'm gonna look for the final piece, guys, and whoa! And uh, I will be right back. Okay, so we're missing straight jacket number five, and apparently it's in room two seventeen, which is next to Iris's room on the in the female ward. So uh, let's uh, let's head there. Yes. Oh, I don't even know to do that, it's true. So that's 215. Oh, we didn't even go in here. All right, guys, let's watch this. I've, uh, I've had a long career working as a state inspector for the Department of Mental Health. Oh, this is gonna be awful. During that time, I've been to a lot of institutions and I have seen a lot of horrible things, but um, nothing even comes close to the evil events that I witnessed at Fairhaven Sanitarium, the place they now call Lux Eterna. I first arrived in um, 1926 to investigate claims of overcrowding and neglect. However, Fairhaven's reputation was tainted long before that. In 1911, Fairhaven opened its doors for the first time. A notoriously violent criminal by the name of Jack Yates was the hospital's first patient. He was to be the, uh, the, the shining example of the hospital's ability to cure the mentally deranged. However, when the superintendent's family was visiting one day, Yates broke free from his restraints, and he, uh, he killed the man's wife. Since then, no one knows what happened to Yates or the superintendent. Well, that is, until now. Superintendent Wallace Halstead greeted me at the door. He seemed as empty and unkempt as the patients he lorded over. And uh, as I conducted my evaluation, I couldn't help but notice how nervous he got when I passed by a small broom closet. And naturally, I felt it necessary to find out why. When I opened the door, I was hit by the 
overpowering smell of human excrement. As the light flickered on overhead, I, I was horrified at what I saw. A withering man lay shackled to the floor in a pile of his own filth. Years of sunless existence had turned his skin, hair, and eyes milky white. He'd been chained there for so long that his, his skin had grown over the shackles. Um, it took me a moment to realize that the husk of a man was Jack Yates. The police arrived and Dr. Halstead was carted off. Doctors moved Yates from the small room for the first time in 15 years. The floor beneath him was permanently stained with the shape of his silhouette. They, they tried to remove the shackles from under his skin, but the shock of it all was too much for him. He, uh, he died the next day. I watched as they walled up his tiny prison, trying to pretend that it never happened. I honestly hope he's in a better place. Although the staff still claims to hear his agonizing wails coming from inside the walls. How's your skin grow over shackles? All right, we did it, guys. Yay. So now I can leave here. Go home. Uh, which way is the way to get out quickly? It's not that way. Hold on. Where do we have to go next? Museum or something? These people are creepy. Alright. Yep, so that's gonna be it, guys. Look forward to some more. Thanks for watching!